All right, bear with me for just a few moments because this is kind of like one of those on the fly things, but you're gonna wanna stick around till toward the end. I won't tell you exactly where. Uh, today, I'm getting ready to go to Florida and I need to pack and as I'm packing, you know, I got clothes, brought some underwear, that's always a good thing to have. Uh, anyway, long story short, I get to packing my radio. I got my TX500. I have the microphone, the battery that I'm gonna use, very small battery that 86DM Dennis build me. I almost called him Adam, but Dennis build me. And I get to the point where I need my antenna. Now, when I'm carrying a light load, I typically would like to bring the K6ARK and fed halfway, the tiny little guy, not the big one. I can't find it. And so it's not usually a big deal because when I'm traveling, I could uh, usually come up with something. I have my own NFED half waves that I built and I have fun with them, but I, just so happened to get in the mail today uh, something that I didn't expect, which was a NFED half wave from Xtena. Excuse me, Xtena. And uh, this is the NFED half wave. This is the Xtena Pro. It comes with 70 feet of wire. And I didn't ask for this. It was it just showed up. And the owner, John, kind of wrote me a letter. Let me summarize a couple of things real quick before I show this to you. John said, hey, and this is a summary. He said, uh, I noticed you have a social media gathering and I have an antenna. I send you this antenna and I would look forward to positive feedback or negative feedback or some kind of feedback just to kind of get your opinion on how things are with this antenna. And uh, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. Just go ahead and give it away to a friend or, you know, somebody, a uh, viewer. I'm going to do one better on that, though. I am going to review this because it kind of looks like a neat concept. I'll show you why in a second. But uh, this is what I was telling you why you want to stick around. I'm going to give one of these away regardless because, and I, and I want to thank John at Extena so much. I don't typically receive a lot of stuff in the mail to review. Yeah, I pay for a lot of it, and that becomes very expensive. And when that happens, it's hard for me to make videos on a constant basis, you know? Um, so when I get something like this, I'm very grateful and I recognize I'm spending the money to pay it forward. But also if a company's willing to, to help me out, uh, I'm going to try my best to help them out. And so far it looks like a good product. So I'm going to give one of these away. My next video that you'll see should be me, uh, reviewing this antenna, hopefully on a beach somewhere, maybe with a uh, water in my hand or something. I don't know. But until then... What I want to do is I want to do a giveaway. And I, you know, I said I wouldn't do giveaways anymore because there's always somebody who's upset about my giveaways. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give one of these away. During the next video, you'll find out who the winner is. So not only do you need to leave a comment below saying you're interested in this item, and only one comment's going to count. So, you know, you can leave as many as you want, but only one comment really is going to count. And then in the next video, you'll have to watch it to see the review of this awesome product, but also then to find out who the winner was, okay? I have to do this thing where I get a list of the rules for the giveaway, and those will be linked below. Also, John's Xtena Etsy page will be linked below. Etsy's a great resource for finding uh, homemade items, and, and uh, not necessarily just homemade items, but we'll call them mom and pop items or, or you know, not commercially available products. So... I'll leave John's Xtena page below. You could check this out. It's a 60 watt single sideband and fed half wave. And the thing about it is, is it has three switches. If you can see that so much, if I flip it around here, and that means this is a 64 to one, a 56 to one, and a 49 to one and fed half wave. And why is that important? Well, there's always these configurations. You might typically be in a sloper configuration and all of a sudden you're in a position where now you're going to be completely horizontal. And instead of being three feet off the ground right here. This is now 12 feet off the ground. And those things are going to affect the impedance of the and fed half wave or the auto transformer. And that's why you have this little gangster switch and you could switch it between the three different windings of the auto transformer so that you can get a lower standing wave ratio potentially. And there, therefore you could activate like a park or you could adapt to your scenario, a situation without a tuner. It's not going to work in every case, but that's the cool thing about the instructions is they mention like, Hey, be experimental. And this again is not a review. This is just more of a, Hey, John X tennis. Thanks for sending this to me. Leave a comment below. And uh, please, I hope you do get to watch the next video and we'll do a full review on this. So until next time, uh, I hope to work you on the air. And uh, 73, leave a comment below.